Has your relationship lost a little of that sizzle that it used to have? Maybe you're at a loss for how to put the spark back in your relationship. Well, the relationship experts, Matt Titus and Tamsin Fidel, are the perfect couple to help revive your love. Hey, everybody. Matt and Tamsin here answering your questions about love, sex, dating, and relationships. Okay, today's question. Dear Matt and Tamsin, my husband and I have been married for five years, and the passion between us has died. We're not nearly as intimate as we used to be, and we seem to be more like roommates and husband and wife. What can I do to keep the fire alive? Alive. That's not the first time we've heard this question. No, it happens a lot because everybody sort of becomes complacent in the relationship. They don't think they have to do the things that they used to do when they first met each other. Yeah, well, no one's dating anymore. Right. So. What we try to do is try to get every couple to try to make the relationship like it was. Consider it one big, long first date. If and you can. put it first. Right. The relationship powers everything, and you have to preserve it and try to keep it intact and keep it the way it was when you first met. Yeah, I think that like you, you know, and we do it, so we're guilty of it too. Absolutely. You know, you get work comes first, you're, you're walking the dogs, you're taking care of kids. You're working you're together. You're working together. Oh my God. And it can be really difficult though, and if you're not putting the relationship first, then uh, whatever else is coming first is going to, to take precedent and eventually take over. And for those couples that are working together, remember there is a shut off time and there's a quit time you and gotta blackberries everything you gotta flip computers. into another role after five o'clock or six o'clock you become husband and wife again not business partners and it really has to if you're working at home together like we are we have a home office then you shut that part of the apartment down you move into the living room in the kitchen and you become husband and wife and you jump into those roles because you can't keep the roles the same and then if you're not working at home together but uh you know you come home from work and it just seems like the same old same old you have to break it up somehow i think it's always important to put one or two nights aside a week to have some date kind night. of date. Yeah, I really do. It sounds really cheesy, but it works because if you know that on Thursday night you're going to go to a movie, you're going to go, you know, just, I don't care if it's a walk or you're going to go work out together, you're doing something together and it's pre-planned and you're looking forward to it. Exactly, because again, the relationship powers everything. It makes the family strong, it makes the children, you know, they're brought up well. You got to preserve the relationship and put it first. Yep, absolutely. All right, this has been Matt and Tamson answering your questions about love, sex, dating, and relationships. If you have any questions, be sure and send them our way. Until next time.